moisturisers, depending on how heavy they are, probably take about 20 minutes to half an hour to actually soak in. The ointments possibly even take an hour. As you can see with, with Anna's, um, this is soaked in quite nicely. What would be quite a good idea to do with younger children is to have some um, DVDs for, for creaming time. So when you've put the moisturiser on, the child can actually then watch the DVD or the video um, until it's soaked in. Otherwise, you could possibly put some old pyjamas on that you don't mind getting greasy. Now, after the, it's soaked in, um, many people do paste bandages, wet wraps, or even some steroids. It doesn't really matter which way you put the steroids round, whether the steroids go first or whether they go after the moisturiser. All that really matters is that you have a good, decent gap in between so that you don't dilute the potency of the topical steroid. And at the moment, Anna doesn't require any topical steroids, so we would be just waiting for this to sink in, which would probably take about 20 minutes. Everything has to fit in with your lifestyle and your child's lifestyle. You shouldn't be letting your treatment regime take a hold of you, it should be the other way around. However, we do know that this can be a very difficult um, thing for many parents to do. It involves putting your moisturisers on before school, after school and bedtime. Some parents ask the question about which moisturisers to use during the day and I think that's a very good question because you could use a lighter moisturiser in the morning before the child, say, goes to school and perhaps even take a small tube of light emollient with them and then in the evening they could put on a heavier, greasier moisturiser before they go to bed. Using emollients is essential for eczema management making sure you have enough on repeat prescription and that those quantities are sufficient and using it every single day, even when the eczema is in remission, is very important. Make sure you have a bath oil, a soap substitute and a moisturiser and that you avoid all detergent-based products. That includes baby wipes and shampoos. But most of all, what do we have to do? We have to make it fun, don't we? When you're using it on small children, make sure that you're making it fun and interesting and that you're empowering them with their eczema management.